To be awarded an honorary doctorate is pretty incredible. I know it's not something that everybody gets to do and I definitely wouldn't have been clever enough to, to get one off my own back. So yeah, really thankful for, to be awarded this for my contribution to, to sport. She was named Sunday Times Sportswoman of the Year for 2023 as well as BBC Women's Footballer of the Year and just this week has been nominated for Sports Personality of the Year and I hope you all join me in registering a vote. <laughs> Life at Loughborough was what I thought at the time was manic. Little did I know life was going to get a lot more manic later down the line. You know, it just involved a lot of same things, I guess, everybody else. Studying, playing sport, trying to juggle the two, juggle my academics and try and be, I guess, the best student athlete that I could be, really. So it was at a time where football was deemed professional, but it wasn't full-time professional. So Loughborough allowed me an opportunity where I could train as full-time and also get an education at the same time as I possibly could at that point in uh, women's football's growth. I'm immensely proud to be part of the Lionesses. Um, obviously the team and the team success, it's got incredible players in it, but also the values and the morals of the individuals that are in it, but also together what we stand for as a team. There's many people that have come before what we've done and we've stood on their shoulders and, and benefited from that. And hopefully the, the future generations will, will do the same, will stand on our shoulders and will benefit hugely from, from the work that we've done and what we've achieved in this time. But it's been really nice to see the game go from zero to, to hero in a way. You know, it's so different now to what it was when I was studying. And yeah, I feel like I've seen it fully in its journey almost, which obviously is not the case, but that's what it feels like.